the opportunity of our time is to have all the published works of humankind accessible to everybody. We have the technology of storage, we have the networking to be able to give distribution, and we have the political will to live in an open society. The idea of having universal access to all knowledge is within our grasp. We could build the Library of Alexandria and not just have all the great works in one place, but to make it accessible to anybody all over the world. is what is going to be the role of the private sphere, the companies, corporations, and the public sphere, government, libraries, universities, and the like? What's the future as we bring large amounts of information? Is it going to be largely a private enterprise or a public enterprise? That's one of the great questions of this time. Google Book Search is a historic effort to make the full text of all the world's books available and searchable through a single um, search box on Google.com. Google Book Search was really an effort to say, wow, there's all this great, really interesting information that's available in books that currently isn't searchable through Google today. So it's an effort to go and make the, all of the text, you know, books for years have been the historic vehicle through which ideas have been transmitted to make that information searchable uh, through Google. We, we've currently partnered with uh, six libraries around the world, um, one of which is, is Stanford University, and we're working closely. They're, they're our neighbors here, and we work closely with them to digitize uh, the materials in their collection uh, and make them searchable online. With this robotic uh, book scanner that we have, we can do, you know, 15 to 40,000 books a year. I would be a very, very old man before we did 9 million books at that rate. So, they, so the Google came to us with a proposition to invest heavily in this and to invest innovatively in this and to give us back uh, copies of the digital copies that they made as well as uh, not damaging the books. So uh, the public, uh, the, the private partner is the only partner that came to us with a, with a conception that was big. Um, the Internet Archive is working with about 30 libraries, also with Microsoft and Yahoo, uh, Adobe, HP, and put together an organization called the Open Content Alliance. The idea is to build an open library system where uh, different organizations pitch in to build a digitized repository of books that's open. Are you in a position to compete with Google in this? Actually, I, I'm hoping that Google turns slightly to the left and decides to join the Open Content Alliance and make their books available in the same way. Is it likely that they will? Um, there have been discussions over the last six, seven years, um, but they haven't um, proceeded yet. We, we, Google, through Google Book Search, has developed a proprietary technology uh, for, for the digitization of, of books. That is a really interesting technology in that it, it is a non-destructive technology. So we can go to these libraries that have really valuable collections uh, and scan them in a way that um, does not destroy them or damage them in any, in any shape or form. Would there be a chance for us to see how it's working? The, digi the, the digitization machinery. Uh, at, at, at this point, we're not making that available to uh, non-partners. What is the interest of Google? Uh, first, uh, I, th I think that they do it because they know they will build traffic to their site. I do think they also have a philanthropic uh, point of view, an alumisonary point of view. They are literally trying to do good while doing well. They're trying to do good for the public, wherever that public might be, while they're doing well in their, in their profit column. Google's just another corporation, um, and they'll take advantage of their assets 
to try to use it as an advantage in the commercial marketplace. That's all they are, and that's all they can be under our, our system. What guarantee do I, as a user, have that uh, Google is not going to charge me for it in the future? Well, I mean, today, we, the, the Google Book Search is a service that's available to users uh, at no cost, um, as many Google services are, I think most. Um, and, and this is the current plan for the product, is that we will continue to provide access to this information and to these public domain books uh, at no cost to, to our users. Books, it's who we are, it's our literature, it's what we've built up over millennia. And the idea of whether those books are going to be in the public sphere or privatized as we go through a digitization route is very much in the air. There are many uh, that say, ah, oh, it's perfectly fine if one company owns it. I I'm sure they'll, you know, make it available under reasonable licensing terms or, uh, um, but it's okay, why don't, why don't we just let, let Google do it? And there are others that say, no, this is who we are. We want to be able to not have to ask permission of a, com of a company to do research with these books. If it's up to one company to say yes or no for any particular type of research, have we really won or are we living in a sort of scary Orwellian world? I think Google is getting to the size where they will have to be watched carefully by competition authorities in the US and Europe. Um, I don't think they are right now behaving uh, in a particularly monopolistic way um, with services like Google Print, for example, where they are scanning books from several very large libraries. Um, as far as I know, they haven't restricted those libraries from also supplying their books to other search engines. I think if they did start to engage in that behavior, then uh, you would want the competition authorities to step in. The danger to education of having only one point of view on information is that everyone will start to have just that point of view. It'll be self-reinforcing. And that's not how one develops critical thinking. One develops critical thinking by contrasting, by comparing. And it's not just in individual works, but how, how are things presented? So if we were to have our school kids only use one encyclopedia and not have any access to any other encyclopedias or any other uh, books in the library, wouldn't that be tragic? I mean, we wouldn't do that. Of course we wouldn't do that. We would want to have different points of view and you compare and you contrast. You, you go and, and open it up and go and say, okay, what did this one say? No, what did this one say? No, they're kind of different. Isn't that interesting that they're different? So it's crucial that we keep the world an open place for open publishing and making it so that people, kids, adults, ourselves, can have access through many different ways and different lenses on the same information. This is an interesting issue about what happens if there's only one, uh, one search engine which is dominant. Will its truth be the only thing that everyone pays attention to? Uh, well, one could say that same thing of, uh, of newspapers and television programs and things like that, which uh, become sort of a dominant uh, influ influence on the thinking of the time. <laughs>